All right, guys, so this next one we're going to do, um, it was taught to me uh, back when I was in high school in a, in a wrestling camp. We had the head wrestling coach at Cornell come down. And he called it the Iranian, okay? And this one I've used a million times. So it looks like this. I shoot that. I shoot the high crotch in. Oh, but she sprawls. I get sprawled out here, okay? And from here is where the move comes out. Here she fell on her head, but I'm a lot bigger than her. Normally it kind of <laughs> lands in her hands, all right? Okay, so I'll, I'll explain how this move works. Okay, so by the way, you can do this to people of huge size. I've done this with 300 pounders and stuff. It's about leverage, it's about the way you position your, your, your body. So I'll go over that right now. So I get here, I shoot my, my, my head outside single, and she sprawls heavy on me. And I end up having to get my hand here, but I still have a good grip of this cap. So what I'm gonna do from here is get my position right. I'm gonna bring my knees together. Okay, as I bring my knees together, I'm gonna lift up the short, uh, the leg using my uh, that grip I had in the calf. Now I'm perpendicular to her, so I make my body like hers and go parallel. So now I'm gonna step up and I come out between her legs this way. Here she's kind of falling on her back. It just depends on the reaction. She's she's had a lot of jujitsu, so she's gonna feel comfortable on her back. If they're like a wrestler or a striker and don't want to go on their back, they're gonna walk on their hands and then you're gonna end up coming out the back door. Okay. So, yeah, don't, don't go to your back on this one, okay? So, I shoot here, she sprawls, okay? I mean, depending on how hard it sprawls, how you feel confident with this move, she may even get a deeper sprawl. I still feel pretty good personally, but you gotta play with yourself how you feel from here. So, my knees come together, I lift, okay? And I make my body like hers, and come out the back door. And then there's where we go for my body lock or whatever I wanna go for. Now, sometimes, if you get a real hard wrestler, they'll walk backwards in their hands. So you can't come out the back door. So I got another move for that. Okay, so she sprawls, I come up, I come out the back, but she's walking backwards, so I'm stuck here like this. All you gotta do is pop your head to the outside and grab onto anything, head, shoulder, arm, head's the preferable. And you just flip them over to a cradle. In sport of wrestling, you lock a cradle and it's a pin. In fighting, um, if it's like a street fight, the cradle still has a lot of value because then I can just knee him in the head over and over. But in like competition fighting, in the US at least, you can't knee to the head in the ground. So you would just let go of the cradle and hold side control. All right, anyone see one more time? Let me do it to, uh, I'll do it to you, Ron, you're a little taller so that you can see it. So I shoot in here, he sprawls, okay? I bring my knees together. Lift, okay, and now I'm perpendicular. So I gotta make my body like his and come out the back. Again, don't, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So falling, good. So we're here, okay, and I, I do like come out the back, but he's pushing backwards hard here. So I'm gonna take my head to the outside this way, grab onto here and flip him. So if it was a, like a wrestling match, I would keep the cradle. If it's a street fight, I keep the cradle here with the knees to the head. In a grappling situation, I mean, a MMA situation, I'd probably let go of that transition here. Guys, got it? Yes, sir. Let's do it on three. One, two, three.